Hello world, PDR coming at you here with an 08, a Honda Accord two-door, really uh, cool car, really rare car. And it has a, what we would call a minor collision. Definitely got bumped by a bumper. Um, and we're gonna see what we can do for it. I told the customer that we're gonna get it to that 80 to 85% mark. Um, definitely not perfect, but without any cracked paint or push marks or weirdness, and that's what we're going for. So. Obviously, that's a doozy. Let's just try to get some kind of angle on it with the board. Um, this is not factory paint. This has been repainted, so I'm not going to be using the glue pulling system on this. I've gained access right here. And uh, I'm just going to take my RDI 24 with my R32 tip and get right behind it and hold it with my hand and uh, I'm right on this body line and let's just see if we can move this metal a little bit. It's nice and warm. Real slow pushes here. Come in nice and slow. And I know it looks like I'm making a quick little tug on it and I kind of am. This part right here, guys, I'm gonna manually pull on it a little bit. And at this point in the video, I'm just gonna say, I sure do appreciate everybody clicking on this video, I really do. If you would hit that subscribe button, it sure helps out the channel, we sure appreciate it. Um, I'm just gonna basically run this line. I don't think that this dent's gonna come out quickly by any means, guys, it's gonna be a It's going to be a chore, and we're going to take it nice and slow. I'm looking for where I am up on this ridge, feeling from the inside, pushing, and uh, really watching that ridge. So we've got it super hot. It's probably about 130 degrees. I want to make sure that I don't get the, the actual light or the bumper too hot because those are plastic. And now I'm going to come in and make some of this meat come out. Uh -huh. Baby, do it nice and slow. It's all about that patience, guys. Okay, so now I've got it to that point that I can come through here and start making some taps on this brow, clean up this line a little bit more. There's gonna be some very delicate uh, finish work that I'm gonna have to use the non-rubber tip with. And I'm looking down here, I'm seeing this pinch. There's nothing I can do to push right there in that pinch, it's just gonna crack the paint. So what I have to do is basically grab it with my tool and I'm just kinda yanking with the tool edge. You see that? Look at that, straightening it out. Come down underneath this little flange right here. I might even come on the flange itself and pull it out a little bit. I don't want to bend up this uh, this little piece right here either because that's what holds this plastic in. But if we're looking down the side, I'm just wanting to straighten that line up. So what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, spend some time dialing in, doing what I'm doing right now. And basically working this front fascia working this little tiny ridge and then getting the rest of it out nice and clean and I think we'll come back to you in just a bit and show you what we got hey guys we're just getting some of this brow out I've gotten a lot of this fascia out and still kind of bumpy down here but we're taking the top of this brow out right now doing the Zen mode Honestly, I think I'm going to switch to the Shane Jacks right now because it's going to give me what we need. Bring that brow down. Just a lot of patience.
some of these down this little high ridge. starts to come together guys a high pitch sound that's the dense back right there high pitch sound right there Tink, tink. And that's the back of the dent. So guys, I don't know um, how long Whitey's been filming me or not and how long this video is going to be, but we'll keep you in for some of this and then we will bring you back in when we're all dialed in and buttoned up and got this thing put back together and we will show you the final result in just a minute. Okay guys, we're back. Um, this is what we ended up with. We do have a little tiny brow down here and the brow up top, almost completely gone. Um, this front fascia, I basically wanted to, the, the whole gig was I wanted to get this thing out without making any push marks, without any broken paint. It was a very severe, folded through line um, but I think we for the most part we got what we wanted to out of it um, the little scratch in the paint right there nothing I can do with it um, there might be a, uh, a wet sand and polish you know method that if somebody wanted to take it to a uh, professional detailer and have it wet sand and polish that little tiny line might come out but other than that I think we did pretty good on this one uh, hit me up with a like if you would other than that this has been PDR and I'm out peace